When it comes to combating against hair loss, the two most common protocols are minoxidil and finasteride. If you are already using these, or if you've been reluctant to use these, there's one more low effort treatment you can throw into the mix that can 10x your results. That is using a microneedling device, otherwise most commonly known as a derma roller. Essentially, microneedling is when you create tiny punctures onto the skin using a device like the derma roller, which has hundreds of small needles all around. It. And as a result, it promotes endogenous growth factors. And when combined with minoxidil, it can be two to three times more effective in treating hair loss. And to prove to you this is not just some pseudoscience, there's actually been numerous amounts of studies done over the years on men with androgenic alopecia and I want to share this particular study with you that blew my mind. This study randomly assigned men to either apply only minoxidil or a combination of minoxidil and microneedling once a week. Group A was only using minoxidil and group B was also using minoxidil for six days out of the week but on the seventh day threw in a session of microneedling. This study went on for four months and the results were insane. The men in group A who were only using minoxidil had 22 new hairs per centimeter square in the crown area and the men in group B who were using minoxidil but added dermal rolling just once a week to their regimen had 91 new hairs per centimeter square in the crown area. And that's literally four times the hair growth than the group who was using only minoxidil. And here's an exact photo of the study. And as you can see side by side, group A who was only using minoxidil and the combination group, and you can see a visible difference in the hair growth just within a span of a few months. And over the many years of researching this, I've been surfing Reddit and YouTube, and I've seen so many real life practical applications of guys who are not just only losing hair onto the crown and diffusely thinning, but the guys who are also having a receding hairline. You guys know with receding hairlines, the only thing that can truly bring that back is a hair transplant. There's numerous amount of guys who are able to turn around their hairline without getting a hair transplant just by using minoxidil and adding a derma roller to the regimen once a week. Personally, I've been using minoxidil on and off for about six to, it's been, yeah, it's gonna be seven years now, which is insane to think about. Naturally, after seeing all these amazing results and reading up on numerous studies, I've decided, hey, why not give it a shot even after I got a hair transplant myself. My main area of concern was my crown up on top and mainly by diffuse thinning all around and the hair transplant fixed 90% of it and I wanted to see if I could still gain some more density even after getting 100% of the results from my hair transplant. So I decided to actually get myself one of these uh, Dr. Derma pens. Uh, these are actually a lot faster than using a derma roller but the roller also works just as well. It'll just run you a little bit more expensive but I would use this at a 1.5 millimeter depth once a week. I also keep a scalp roller on my desk so when I'm working I'll just you know go back and forth. It's almost like a fidgeting tool for me which also gives me hair growth. And this one has a 0.75 millimeter depth. So sometimes I'll use this, other weeks that I'm busy, I'll just use this once a week or you know, whenever I'm fidgeting around with it. And just by that, here's a visible result of my crown. And this, I think about two years after my hair transplant and I was able to still add on a good amount of density just from microneedling once a week. And honestly, if I feel like had I looked into this more before getting my hair transplant, maybe I wouldn't have even needed as many grafts. I got about 5,000 grafts and I may have been able to get away with like 3,500, 4,000 grafts just from me being able to naturally stimulate new hair growth. Nevertheless, this has been a game changer for me for someone who's gotten a hair transplant and got a good amount of results and still be able to improve um, just from adding this one little thing onto my regimen. I'm surprised because I run to so many of you guys uh, here and there like, hey, you guys saw you on YouTube, everything hair, and you guys asked for hair advice. And I'm surprised how many people don't use a microneedling device. If you're already using minoxidil, might as well throw this into your regimen once a week, gain literally four times the hair growth for a pretty low effort treatment. And that would be an insane ROI you would be getting just from adding a little treatment for like five minutes a day once a week onto your regimen. The roller and the minoxidil formula that I use is by Growplex. This particular roller has 512 titanium medical grade micro needles, which are extremely painless and comfortable to use. And it has a 0.75 millimeter depth, perfect for stimulating hair growth without making you bleed or cause too much irritation on skin, especially if you have sensitive skin. This is Vitafoam. This is a minoxidil based formula, which also has other natural additives like ginger, ginseng, and safflower extract that helps nourish the scalp and block some DHT naturally. So if you're not taking finasteride, this will also give you some DHT coverage, as well as if you're taking finasteride, this will still give you some additional DHT benefits. These two come in a kit, so if you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below along with a discount code. One of the key factors with any hair loss treatment is how long you are able to keep up with it. And for me, I have accepted that I need to use minoxidil and finasteride for the rest of my life. But going back to this first study that I mentioned, the men from both groups were called back for a six month follow-up who discontinued all treatment altogether to see how long their results were able to hold up for the months to come. 90% of men in the minoxidil only group lost all their hair, but only 10% of men in the microneedling group lost their hair. 70% of them still had mild to moderate hair loss. 20% of them retained all their hair despite discontinuing treatment for six months. Not only do the results from just adding microneedling once a week to your regimen last longer, 
but it can give you four times more hair growth than any other hair loss treatment. So take from that information what you will. Regardless, hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about new hair loss treatment. And I'll link all the studies that I've mentioned in this video in the description below so you guys can check it out. And also if you guys wanna pick up the hair growth kit, I'll also have a link to that as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to get to you. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.